Water, water, moon activated. Hmm. So, Nurse Glory decided to give it back to her trolls. Like, Nurse Glory is someone that I know, a big YouTuber that people troll. Nurse Glory is almost on, you know, 200k subscribers, living with her husband outside, like living abroad, while she rented an apartment for her mom here in Nigeria. Initially, the mom was living in an apartment that Nurse Glory wasn't proud of, and all she wanted was to make her mom feel, live comfortably and all that. So I remember before I started YouTube, in fact, the year I started YouTube, 2021, that's like, um, let's just say, a year plus, Nurse Glory decided to rent an apartment for her mom. I remember watching that vlog. I don't know whether then I just started the YouTube or I was planning to start, but I remember watching that vlog. Nurse Glory is one of the persons that I've been watching on YouTube before I started YouTube. So that was 2021, and she decided to, you know, rent this beautiful apartment for her mom. She carried us along as she came down yet to Nigeria, you know, to see uh, her son and all that. Um, so she, you know, she vlogged it, showed us the former apartment the mom was living in, how there was no water, how they had light issues and all that. And she said she wanted to rent an apartment for the mom. She categorically said rent. No, Glory never said she bought an apartment. But you know, sometimes people don't watch videos. And that's why I keep saying that sometimes people watch titles. Yes, people watch titles and thumbnails. And that is why sometimes if somebody drops very silly comment on my comment section, the first thing I would tell you that is like you don't have data to watch. If you know you don't have data to watch videos, don't click it. Because some of you who don't have the data to watch, you will click and you say rubbish. Why some people will watch it and decide to interpret it the way they feel like? Yes, especially trolls. They, they know what they are doing. You know, sometimes I feel like if these people say they don't know what they are doing and they probably say the wrong thing, it means that they have been failing in school or they pay, paid their way through school. You know, some people, like the certificate they have today is not their own because they cannot defend it. Yes, they paid their way through school. Every course, they sorted it. Because you cannot listen to somebody's video and say otherwise. Somebody said this thing. Come and say it the way the person said it. But they will turn it around and say it. Nurse Glory never says she actually bought the house. But trolls came for her. Saying that she, be, she said that she bought the house for her mom. Now, there was a video she made some days ago where she said that the agents of the house are trying to evict her mom from the house she rented for her mom. And people were like, and the reason why the mom was complaining about the house and the agents got angry that the owners and all that they got angry is because there are certain things that are not not okay with the house they'll be staying for, in that house for over a year now and according to nurse glory she just you know paid uh the next rent and they are not acting like this because maybe the sink might be bad certain things are falling apart and they tell her to come and repair and uh maybe they tell them to come and repair and they will not answer them and maybe due to one or two complaints you know the way nigerian agents ask and they're like okay if you don't want the house you're not pack and they are paid rent, so I, I, I expect them to just pack like that. So when Nurse Glory came out to complain, people are now saying that she you said you bought the house for your mother. Nurse Glory never said she bought the house for the mom. All the vlogs she was doing there, she always said, I'm making my mom comfortable. I watched those vlogs, at least I'm very sure I did. She never said anything. Or maybe title might show that I got my mom a house. It's for you to click and watch. And I'm not even sure she made that kind of title. Let me just say maybe she clickbaited or something. I've told the people that there is something called clickbait on this street. When somebody put title to watch, I've noticed how some persons even misbehave. Even to, you know, uh, content creators, when they just see their title and thumbnail, they automatically feel whatever is in that title is what's in the video. If you know that you don't want to watch the thing, then don't go, on, go on, don't go and say rubbish. Yes, if you know you cannot watch it, you see some people be like, eh, is the title and the thumbnail that made me feel it like that? Then if you don't have data, don't watch now, go away, walk, walk out for more for a year. You get the point. And you see somebody just put maybe a clickbait small, you be like, oh, the other day, Nello came out to say, oh, she uh, she, she got a new house. I knew that that one might be a clickbait or probably they had a new house. I had to sit down and watch that video to see that she was advertising for a particular company. But that is how people now will watch, you see that title and think that they've gotten a house. And if tomorrow Nello tells you she's still sitting in a, a rented apartment, they are yet to move into their own house. You will see that people will say Nello lied. 
I don't even understand. Like, you people should learn to watch videos. If you know you don't have the strength to watch videos, don't click. In fact, what I pass and don't comment. Do you know that some persons, they will comment, you think that they watch the video. They did not watch the video. You know that somebody can comment within 30 seconds. I can write something under this video within 30 seconds. And 30 seconds inside a video of maybe 8 minutes, 10 minutes, it will not be recorded that you even watched. Because you have to watch more than 30 seconds for YouTube to even have your view. Some of them do not even, in fact, their view is not even counted among the thousands of views you have. They will just quickly write, I thought he said you bought the house. Now you're saying it's a rented apartment, blah, 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 blah. They will just leave. They do not watch the video. Nothing. If they watch the video, they will understand. People don't watch video and it's a big problem. Like, it is something that affects a lot of content creators. This something has even affected me before. So, I know I know that feeling when Nozlo decided to come and give them what they took. She insulted and gave them back. She really, really gave them back. And I like what she did. Because if you cannot watch a video, don't comment. We keep saying this thing. Even as react or self, eh? Now they even talk and pass. Because some of you, you don't know what this particular content creator said in their video. Except you watch and just want to turn it upside down and say something else. Just want to lie. Fine. We understand that category of persons. But you see those that will not watch because they don't have data. Imagine you come with 10 MB. Not 10 gigo, 10 MB. And you want to watch 10 videos. Mm? One MB for one video. How is it possible? And this particular video is posted with that many gig. You now say you want to watch one. That is why you 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 keep watching. You you want to be on every comment section without watching videos. You want to just be writing. Nobody send you. If you don't have data, auntie, leave. Brother, leave. It's not by force to be on YouTube. Some of you want to just show that you are in one of the biggest platforms in the world. I'm also on YouTube. I also comment on YouTube. You are just there writing signature, making sure that your signature is everywhere. Writing rubbish, yet you don't have the time to watch videos. If you watch that Nose Glory video, you will notice that even the apartment is not only the mom that is there now. And she rented it, she said it severally. Even before she now started going back to the embassy, even the process of going back, she still mentioned it. Even when she entered plane, she still mentioned it. She said she's so happy that she had made her mom comfortable and now she's leaving. She did not say she bought the house. Some of you are overdoing things. Yes, you are overdoing things. Watch video. Now I'm advising you people again. Always watch video. Watch people video before you comment. And if I thought you want to comment without even watching, you know, sometimes some of us cannot watch to the end and you want to comment. Make sure that you do not comment a bad thing. Comment the one that is in the video at least. Comment the one that's in the video. Not where somebody said they are drying clothes. You are going to talk about their cooking soup. If at all you don't say you watch, you don't want to comment, or you don't know what to comment, or the video confuse you. Put three love. What can comment? You don't say yes, you don't watch the person. And you won't let the person not say, ah, I watch you, I've been here. Oh. Put three love, what can come on? Or put smiley, or put something. Just what come on. You must not go and comment wrongly. Or go and troll the person. When you don't say you don't even watch the video, they troll. Before you troll somebody, watch video. Before you have an opinion about the person's video, whether the person did it right or not, watch it to the end. I mean, I keep saying it. Watch it to the end. On another year word, going to troll her that she you, Some of you that are talking here, you cannot even rent a house for your, your, your mother. Some of you cannot even buy clothes for your parents. Yes. Some of these people that always have opinion on other people's lives, they're not even fit to take care of their parents. If you ask them, have you paid school fees for your junior ones before? They are. They cannot. Can they even feed themselves? Some of them are still living with their parents. Yes. You see grown ass women still staying with their parents, but still making trouble on social media. Eh? Nothing you get. But now you go first go uh go to uh advise married people. Marry, you never marry. But always having opinion on other persons. Hmm? Some of you even then that you've been insulting people that are taking care of their parents and having opinion how the person is not taking care of their parents. Can you parent for your mother and your father? Have you done it? No. You even get a job to start with. Do you? No. Yet now you go to insult people they do. If you not say you know if you do, I need to insult person. Except you, you've done it before. That's all I can just say. Yeah. Bye for now, guys.